Hello everyone, the task for this video is to write a function to compute the simple moving average. And we compare the results with the SMA function from the TTR package. Let's start by loading the TTR package. Now, let's see an example. Compute the SMA of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with window equal to results 1 plus 2 divided by 2 2 plus 3 divided by 2 3 plus 4 divided by 2 uh, 4 plus 5 divided by 2 5 plus 6 divided by 2 so as you can see the window uh, equal to is moving so this is what the window is doing now uh, these are the results. What we can do here? How we can uh, do this in R? Let's see our strategy. We note that 5, 7, 9, 11 are equal to the cumulative sum of the original series from k plus 1. So the cumulative sum of the original series is uh, 1. 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 uh, plus 4 is 10, then we have 15, and we have uh, 21. So, from k plus 1, k in our example is 2, is the window width. So, 2 plus 1 is uh, 3. So, index number 1, index number 2, index number 3. So, the sum of the original series from k plus 1, in this case, means from 6 minus the cumulative sum series from the first element and excluding the last k, uh, k elements so 1 3 6 10 and exclude the last k elements the last two uh, elements here 15 and 21 this means 6 minus 1 is 5 10 minus 3 is 7 15 minus 6 is 9, and then we have 21 minus 10 is 11. And note that 6 minus 1, 10 minus 3, basically 3 is minus 0. But to, what we do is that we retrieve 3 that represents the k index, so uh, k in this example is 2, so index 1, index 2, so we retrieve the number 3 from the cumulative sum and concatenate to 2, so we concatenate with these numbers here, to form this one. Basically, this 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. When we have formed this 3, 5, 7, and 9, 11, we divide it by uh, k and we obtain the simple moving average. Okay, be careful that this strategy does not work as expected if k equal the length of the vector. Due to the vector selection for subsetting, and I will show you later in the function. But note also that if k equal the length of the vector, this means that we are computing an arithmetic average. So let's see now how to implement this strategy in R. So, this is uh, our function, uh, takes two arguments, x and k, where x is the vector with the numbers and k is the window width. The first step here is to check that k is greater than 0 and is less or equal to the length of the vector x. Otherwise, the function will, st will stop and will throw an error message. So basically, if k is less than 0, or is equal to 0, or is greater than the length of the vector x, the function will stop. So let's solve, uh, first of all, the case where k equals the length of x. So if k equals the length of x, what we do here is just an arithmetic average. We sum the, the object x and we divide it by k. 
However, we want to show the window. For so what what we do is we generate this object NAS as the replication of NA as many times as K minus one. So for example, here uh, K is equal to the length of the vector. Let's say the length is six. This means that NA will be replicated five times, six minus one. Then we concatenate this NA's object with the rest object uh, itself. So this rest object here will be uh, overwritten as NA's and rest. Now, else, this means that if k is greater than zero and less than the length of x, we implemented the strategy that we said uh, before. Let's check. First of all, here we do the cumulative sum of x. So y stores the cumulative sum of x. Then, what we do here, we compute number two. And we say that number two is the cumulative sum of the original series from k plus one minus the cumulative sum series from the first element and excluding the last k elements. So as you can see here, the series from uh, k plus one to the length of the vector minus uh, the cumulative uh, series from one to the length of the vector minus the k elements. So this is number two. Here we do uh, we compute number three. So we retrieve the uh, the k element from the cumulative sum series, and we concatenate with the rest object. Finally, we compute the simple moving average by dividing the rest object by k. And then we do the same step, the same steps as before. We form the NS object and we uh, concatenate the NS object with the rest object itself. Uh, by the way, wh why uh, this function does not work as expected with the k equal length of the vector? The problem is here. Let's say that uh, the length of the vector is a 6. This means that here, we have 6 plus 1, uh, that is 7, and this is a 6. So we have this, uh, the, here the selection that goes from 7 to 6. So the problem is here. But for us this is okay because k equal length of the vector x is managed in this part of the function here. So let's run this function. And let's test it. So let's test with the x from 1 to 6. First of all, with the negative input. And as you can see, we have the error message. And it's telling you that this is not true. Let's try with k equals 0. And again, the error message. Now, k equal 1. k equal 1, we get back the, the original series. Let's check the result with the SMA function. And by the way, when there are functions available from uh, packages from CRAN, I always recommend using those functions. You know for sure that they are tested. Okay, so let's run here. Now let's check with the k equal to. Let's compare here. We got the same result, and as you can see here, the NA, so k is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we have just 1 NA. Let's try with, uh, with 3. So it seems that it's working. Not now that if we just run min of x, 
we get 3.5 but here we are giving uh, we are showing the window this is the difference let's try with k greater than length of the vector so uh, with 7 and again here we have the errors message now let's test the function uh, to check if it works regardless the number one uh, one to six so i'm selecting uh, 10 numbers randomly from one to 100 okay so let's test it Okay, it seems that works. So that's it. The next video is about the Fibonacci sequence. So I hope these videos are useful. And if you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.